In this video, we're going to look at a couple of uh, examples using either a peel method or using a double angle identity or, or something like that to help us do some uh, integration. Uh, in both of these examples, I think I'm going to kind of get us to a certain point where I think you could handle the end, and then I'll probably leave. Uh, just in the in the interest of time, I'll probably stop a little bit before I finish the entire problem. So just be aware of that. Uh, like I said, this is, you know, um, kind of getting you to the point where I think you can handle it. So to begin with, um, I'm going to look to peel off uh, something out of the odd. So uh, I'm going to rewrite this integral as sine to the fourth times cosine to the fourth times cosine. Okay, So I'm making this decision that cosine is uh, is kind of left out here so this will probably be my du which means I'm aiming to have sine be my u. Okay, And that's important to, to look at and it's kind of a skill to be able to look that far ahead but again um, peeling the, the cosine off I'm setting it up so this is kind of left at the end to be my du and because of that sign is going to have to be my u. So with that in mind, I'm going to leave the sign right here. This I want. I'm going to put a little plus there. I want that. This I'm going to need to change. Okay. So let's rewrite the integral here. Uh, sine to the fourth I said I was going to leave. I'm going to change that cosine to the fourth. I'm going to leave this cosine x dx at the end. Okay. Now, cosine squared would be, using this identity up here, cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared. Well, this is cosine to the fourth. Well, that's not a big deal. It's just 1 minus sine squared squared. See, so we just replaced the cosine to the fourth with a cosine squared squared. Now, let's make our substitution. Let's say that, I'm going to put it kind of in this box right here, we're going to make u equal to sine, so du is cosine. So my integral is going to become u to the fourth multiplied by 1 minus u squared squared du. Now there's not a great way around this other than actually multiplying it out. Okay, so I'm going to leave the u to the fourth, and then I'm going to have uh, one minus u squared squared like that. So then let me continue down here. We're going to have u to the fourth. We have one minus two u squared plus u to the fourth du, which now I'm going to multiply the u to the fourth in. So I'm going to have u to the fourth minus 2u to the sixth plus u to the eighth du. The antiderivative, one-fifth u to the fifth minus two-sevenths u to the seventh plus one-ninth u to the ninth plus c. And I'm out of room. I want to move on. I re rely on the fact that at this point you can substitute everything back in. But let me just go back here for a second. When you have an even and an odd, you're going to peel the odd. Okay, You're going to pull off this cosine and you do that to make sure, and I'll just make a note here, this becomes our du. We know that's du. I'm going to put a little star by it. So we need then, working backwards, if that's my du, then the sine pieces I want to keep. I don't want to keep the cosine because then I've got the wrong u for the du that I want. Okay, let's do another example. Now in dealing with even powers like this, and in, in fact all even powers, it's not just reliant on the fact that, uh, that, the, um, that there isn't a cosine here. I'm going to look to some of my trig identities. And you'll see that sine, um, sine squared is equal to 1 half, 1 minus cosine of 2x. So what I could do is I could replace the sine to the fourth with a 1 half, 1 minus the cosine of 2x, 
squared. Like that. Now I could rewrite this as one fourth and then one minus cosine two x times one minus cosine two x. Okay. I could pull that one fourth out front. I could multiply this thing actually out, get one fourth the integral of one minus two cosine two x plus cosine squared of two x. Well, a lot of this now I'm going to be able to integrate pretty easily. The cosine squared two x though, I don't know how to integrate a cosine squared. Uh, this, of course, the antiderivative is just x. This, I think, you know, a little bit of substitution would be necessary. But this, I'm going to do some, you, I'm going to use my trig identity again. You'll see the cosine squared of x is this. So I'm going to, you know, kind of cut this in half a little bit. I'll, I'm going to put some brackets around it because remember the whole thing's multiplied by one fourth. But this integral we could rewrite the cosine squared of 2x as 1 half, 1 plus cosine. Now, instead of 2x, of course, it will be 4x because we weren't doing the cosine of the squared of x. We're just doing the cosine squared of 2x. So then I'd pull that 1 half up front like that. And again, then this would be just a normal integral, and this one I'd use substitution. Now, again, in the interest of time and space, uh, I'm going to stop here. Um, this is a long integral. There's no question this is a difficult integral to do. The important thing is to recognize that because we had an even power, we were going to use our double angle identities here to get rid of them. Um, this is different than with odd powers where we can peel one off. The odd powers are usually easier makes for an easier substitution. But here, uh, I replace sine to the fourth with an equivalent of sine squared squared. Uh, then I expanded this out. I pulled the constant out. It made the first two terms very easily done with just, first of all, this being x and this just being an easy substitution coming out to be sine of 2x. This, because it was another uh, double or another squared I replaced with another double angle identity and then I could do it by substitution. But it ends up being a pretty long problem and the thing to remember is you, at the very end you have this one-fourth out front that is going to multiply into every piece. Okay.